If you've been on social media recently, you may have seen this image. This is the grandparents of Mark Hamlet, and he tested out something called Weatherspoons the Game, where members of an online community send drinks to other players who share their table number and which pub they are at in the group. Members then use the Weatherspoons app to send orders to their table. The game, which isn't associated with the pub chain, was set up by Chris Illman, and this Christmas he is doing a special version of the game to feed the homeless. Uh, so today, 9.30am, uh, we're going to put a post up saying where we are, what table number we're at. Um, uh, for breakfast, we're having breakfast wraps. Um, we've asked for 100 of them. Um, as soon as they come out, uh, a charity called Hush, uh, helping us support the homeless in Portsmouth. Uh, they'll be collecting the food and then distributing it to the homeless community. I mean, the same's happening at midday for lunch. It was then down to Chris to start the game at 9.30 by notifying the group and waiting patiently for the orders to arrive. And it didn't take long, as within minutes, the team at the Jean Jacques were nearly 40% of the way to the 100 target. We got all the orders all coming in now. Um, they just checked, we're up to over 40, so we're probably up to about 50 or 60 now. Um, and we're only five minutes and 39 seconds into the game, so. And that was that. Within a few extra minutes, the 100 breakfast wrap target was smashed. In fact, it was done so fast that whilst Chris tried to tell people to stop sending orders, additional ones continued to come through, meaning over 100 breakfast wraps will be sent out to the homeless. 115 we've done. Okay, all right, we're stopping now. Thank you. <laughs> so we've actually got over. We've got up to 115. So, right, please stop sending now. Okay, that's breakfast done. That is where Bill Shannon comes in from volunteer group Hush. He will be distributing the food to the homeless and shelters throughout the city. People like Chris is, is, is not important, he's very, very important because without him doing this, there's a hundred odd breakfast wraps and whatever he gets for the lunch, that wouldn't exist. And uh, these people in the street then would be relying on me to come out and give them Greg vouchers, which I do, and guys like Chris here as well. Hopefully he's a bit like myself, he doesn't do it for the glory, he does it for the passion. Once the food was loaded into the vehicle, it was time to follow Bill through the streets of Portsmouth to one of his drop-off points at Hope House, which provides accommodation for single homeless adults. Uh, these are breakfast wraps, freshly oh, cooked. So People go online and donate a breakfast, yeah, and I'll be you. coming back again about half past twelve with burgers and chips again. Same scenario, about forty of them. It's absolutely fantastic that this is happening, and the community want to do this for our clients. From a emotional point of view, it knows the clients know that they haven't been forgotten. Uh, particularly at this time of year um, and the understanding about the struggles um, that people who are homeless experience. Back at the John Jacks, more excitement was happening as we were away. Chris, the manager, set us a challenge. Well, I bet, said he bet he couldn't, we couldn't sell him out of snacks. <laughs> he bet we couldn't sell him out of snacks, but little did he know uh, we would. <laughs> so, so I put a post up and we sold him out of snacks in under 12 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Although the game had claimed all the snacks in minutes for the homeless, the pub made sure to keep some back for the punters inside. Though this didn't stop Chris from having a cheeky joke to try and also claim them. Oh no, you got snacks there still? No, I need some for the pub. <laughs> Chris's energetic approach has been a constant through the game that he started back in 2018 after a period in his life when he felt he needed to give back. I've got Donald's cancer and split my wife literally at the same time and I was sleeping in my car. I was literally having treatment, going back, sleeping in my car, getting up, going back to the hospital, having treatment and so on. But thankfully the council stepped in and got me in the bed sit, like it was a homeless shelter quite quickly. So help me out big time and I just want to pay that forward really. And that message of paying it forward was about to kick off again as the lunchtime service began. Orders are coming in already, absolutely mental. I can hear the beeping, it's great, thank you so much. I wonder how quickly we can do this. We're, uh, we're going to smash this. I reckon well within 10 minutes. We're 2 minutes 30 in a minute. How many so far? We've got 30 already. We've had 30 orders in two and a half minutes. Wow. With the orders flying in, the end game was nearly in sight as the clock ticked away. OK, we are up to eight minutes now. Eight minutes. Shannon, Stop. thank you. Stop. OK, we're done. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you, man. Right, stop ordering, stop ordering. Eight minutes and we're well over 100, apparently. As pub manager Chris prepared the next batch, it was down to Hush's bill once again to collect and redistribute to those most in need in the city. Here we go. 
That is mental. That is really mental. It was literally eight minutes and two seconds, and he said, stop. Eight minutes and two seconds. Wow. Yeah. Unreal. Unbelievable, wasn't it? I mean, we did 135 burgers in about eight minutes, so you can't complain that that's gone very well and it's all for a good cause. So what Chris has done in the past four or five years now, it's, it's amazing and we're more than happy to help. We were one of the first ones to do the big one of the bigger ones um, and we've just been happy to help all the way through. Yeah, I always get quite tearful because it's like it's... It's something that I created at a whim and it's doing so much good for people now and it's just, it gets me, you know what I mean, it really, because like, we've got hundreds of people now being fed, it's raising the as well, it's like if one person today gets inspired to go out and do something themselves, it's been worth it, it always gets you emotional, it really does. Billy, thank you very much man. Thank you so much Chris. No worries, love to family mate. Amazing. Look at that, and I've already cool. took as much of that away before. What would be the last message to everyone that's bought food for the homeless today? Thank you very much and have an excellent Christmas, thank you.